Okay, so the final way I want to talk about getting data into SQL Server from Excel or from a text file is BCP, Bulk Copy Program. Now, this one is a little different, and you can see that I've gotten a little harder on each of these uh, types. This type here, we actually have to use the command line. So that can be a little scary for some people, and uh, but I'll walk you right through it so it won't be too bad. So the first thing you need to do is open the command window. You do that by going to Start and you can type CMD and it'll show up up there at searches or you can simply go to all programs and go down to accessories and uh, do the command prompt there so I will open command prompt and then I want to say BCP question and if this doesn't show up then something's installed wrong um, so you didn't get installed in your system um, so it should say what I have here and, and actually tell you that um, BCP and then all the different uh, switches you can use to run it. Well, let me pull up Management Studio here and let's take a look at our products table. Let's empty that again. So what I'll say is delete from products. Okay, so 560 rows delete it no rows left in the table. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to actually load into that um, and, and we want to do similar to what we did here, right? Um, which is we want to get data um, from a, first we're going to use the text file and then we're going to use the CSV file, but we want to get data from a text file into products too. So let's do that. So the first step is we're going to say BCP and then we want to say where we want to get data, we want to put data in which is this here. So I'm going to copy it and I can paste it in. Now notice how it's fully qualified. It has the database name, Excel import training, dot schema, DBO, dot table name, products two. Now we want to put it into there, so we say in. And then the next thing is where do we get it from, right? So we get it from over here which is we're going to use the text file first, which is the, the pipe delimited file. If you remember right, pipe delimited, right? So, um, but I also have it copied over here. So I'll just copy that. Now I will paste it in there. And it's not the CSV this time, we'll get the text file. Okay, so now that we've got that, there's a few more switches we have to put on, or a few more uh, things we have to do to make this run. I have to say where their server's at. So dash S for server. And then my server, switch back to Management Studio again here. My server is up here, localhost slash SQL 2012 Express. Right? So localhost slash SQL 2012 Express. Yours will probably be named something different. Um, but, and if it's the default instance, you have to put it in there. But in my case, I have multiple instances of SQL Server. So this is what I put in. Then we also have to put in dash C. That means it's going to read the text file as all characters. It's not going to try to interpret any type of uh, special um, numerics or anything like that. It's just going to read it in. Uh, and then we need to say, um, same thing we did up here. When we're using bulk insert, we have to say, that we need to skip that first row. We need to start with row number two. So we're going to say dash F. And that, so that, that dash F, if you look at your little help file, says that is the first row. The first row is going to be the second one, right? So it start reading at the second row. And then we need to put in, well, what's the, what's the terminator here? So as we got here, field terminator, comma, well, that's when we were doing the CSV file. We need to do field terminator which you use the dash T, not the capital T, but the lowercase T. And where's that thing? There it is. Field terminator right there. So lowercase T, quote, and I'll put a pipe in there. Okay, so that's what's the that's what separates each of the columns in our text file. And if you don't remember, let me pull it open real quick for you. We can look at it one more time. Right there. See every column separated by a pipe? Well, that's what I just put in there to let it know that everything's separated by a pipe. So now, the last thing I want to do is say how I'm going to connect. And I'm going to connect 
in a trusted way. And the trusted connection means it uses your Windows uh, user. So when you log into Windows, you logged in as, as a certain user. If that user has permissions to the database, then you're fine. If not, you would have to use the dash U for username and the dash P, wherever the P is, for password. Okay, but we're just going to use dash T, which means trusted. And so that's it. So if this all works right, and I hit enter, it copied 560 rows. So we can come back over here, select star from products to, and there we go. So we've got some data. So now let's do one more with the CSV. And it should go a lot faster now. Um, let me delete the data real quick. Delete from products to run that. I'm going to go ahead and co comment that out so that it's still there and I can run it later. But I don't want to accidentally run it um, anytime. So let's go try to get the CSV file. If I hit the up arrow, I get my, com my last command back. And all I need to do is change it. Well, remember the CSV file, is, it's comma separated. So I change the pipe to a comma. And then I'll go over and change this dot text to dot CSV, right? And now that should be it. If I hit enter, look, 560 rows copied. Come back over here, 560 rows put in. So we, we're good to go. So that is how you use BCP. Um, it can be a little intimidating because it's command line. If you've ever worked with command lines, you can get used to it. Um, but it, it's, there's not as much helpful uh, interaction. You know, everything you're doing is you're typing, you're seeing if it works, and if it doesn't work, then you have to try to troubleshoot it. It's, it can be a little bit um, difficult sometimes, but if you just follow what I did there, um, you should be able to get right through it.